Well, we know that i to a negative 1 is equal to 1 over i, and then you know that I don't like to be on the bottom, I like to be on the top, so let's multiply this by i and also this by i. This right here will give us negative 1, so altogether we get negative 1 i. So nice, because you see that here we have negative 1 in the power, but now it's in the front, right? So now the question is, is it possible for us to find out more pairs? So we want two numbers x, y, such that x to y's power is equal to y times x. Not the derivative power rule, do not just bring the y to the front, minus 1, right? Is this possible? Yes, because otherwise how can I make this video, right? To do so, we can first divide both sides by x, so we can cancel this out, and then this will get x to the y minus 1 power is equal to y, and then we can raise both sides to what power? Yes, 1 over y minus 1 power, like so, because this way, this and that will cancel. You see the relationship between x and y now? x is equal to, well, write this down in the cool way, y minus 1's root of y's <laughs> like this, and now we'll just do some check, okay? So I'm gonna pick some number for y, let's say that y equals 3, because this way you can see that x will be what? x will just be equal to square root of 3 minus 1, which is 2, and then 3 inside, then the square root of 2, right? So as you can see, if we put that back, we get x is equal to the square root of 3, like so, and then raise this to the third power, this right here is actually going to be the same as 3 in the front, and then you multiply it by x, which is square root of 3. Pretty cool, in my opinion.